Hi, and welcome on to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Brought to you today by Flick, the excellent app. If you haven't already got that app, make sure you get it because we are doing a special giveaway where you can win the Arsenal home kit, the Arsenal away kit, and the Arsenal fur kit. All you've got to do is be part of the app. Loads of people are on it. Um, so make sure you download that. The link is in the description. Join the AFTV group for free and you can get involved with all the details around the show. Also, we're going to be starting a brand new show on there called AFTV Extra, which comes out every evening on the app where I'll be giving you updates um, in a real bite-sized um, form on all today's transfer news. So make sure you get onto the app for that. It's only available on the Flick app. Now, I've done a couple of polls on it. Um, I forgot to uh, give you the result of the previous poll that I did on it, which is I asked the question after the uh, Carabao Cup game, is Ozil being treated unfairly at Arsenal? Um, of course, he was left out of the squad. 53% of you said yes. 47% said no. That's very close. A lot of you thinking, no, you know what? Leave him on the bench. So, you know, you like messing about. But uh, 57% yes. 40, sorry, 53% yes. 47% no. So that's very, very close. And I also asked a question about Jorginho um, yesterday of Chelsea. Would you take Jorginho at Arsenal? This one was a resounding no, really. 74% of you said no. You do not want Jorginho. No more Chelsea rejects. 26% said yes. Um, so <laughs> um, you guys not feeling that Jorginho link, but it persists today. Jorginho still being linked with a move to Arsenal. Um, a lot of the talk around at the moment is that if Arsenal, sorry, if Chelsea go and get Declan Rice, which is, seems to be the last big signing they want to make, they've been going crazy in the transfer market, unlike any other club around Europe right now in the world. Chelsea, they've gone absolutely mad in the uh, transfer market. And um, they're trying to get Declan Rice from West Ham. If they get him, um, they're willing to sell Jorginho to Arsenal to raise um, funds to cover that deal. That is the talk. Um, <laughs> as I said, going by uh, yesterday's poll, um, you guys ain't feeling that at all. So um, a firm no by the fans at the moment to Jorginho. But one of the players that the fans would definitely love to um, see come in, and all the talk was about him last night, is Hossim Awa. Um, according to reports out of France yesterday, he's agreed terms to join Arsenal. Remember, there was a lot of clubs interested in him. Man City were interested. Um, there was talk of Real Madrid, Barcelona, uh, PSG, all interested in Hossim Awa. Some of them have called a bit on it, but he has apparently agreed terms to join Arsenal. That means... All that is left to do, well, I say all that's left to do, but this is the difficult part, is to negotiate a deal to sign him with Leon. That means dealing with Leon's president, Jean-Michel Alios, a very tough negotiator indeed, as we know. Um, a friend of mine was uh, describing him to me uh, as the, uh, the French version of Daniel Levy at Tottenham. <laughs> hard, hard negotiator. Um, we... You know, we'd be back and forth with him when we tried to get Lacazette and um, he squeezed every last penny out of Arsenal. Now, the rumours are that Arsenal have already lodged a bid of €35 million, Euros, um, which has been knocked back. Originally, Leon were after around about €60 million. Euros. The talk is they've lowered their price because, you know, the, the market is completely different at the moment. You're not going to get those crazy amount of uh, monies for players. Um, and Leon apparently now would be willing to accept around about 45 million euros. So Arsenal still, a, you know, if, if if that's the case, they're still around about 10 million euros off the price that Leon are looking for. But negotiations are going to continue uh, on. And uh, Arsenal hoping to get their man, Hossim Awar. Very, very... Um, Good player. Uh, if you want to find out more about him, we did a video on him with um, Adam White from Get French Football News. 
and he was saying that basically, uh, and even the, the president of Lyon said, basically, he is the best player at Lyon right now. Adam White of Get French Football News went on as far to describe him as the second best player in French football at the moment behind Mbappe. So he's saying, you know, French players-wise, best player, Mbappe, second best player in that league, Hossim Awar. That is high praise indeed for Awar. But can we get this deal done? It's edging closer. It is definitely, definitely edging closer. And it's going to be really interesting um, to see how far it draws out. It's one of those ones I get the feeling that could run right up to the last week to near the window closing. Remember, the transfer window closes on the 5th of October. Just a couple of weeks left now. Um, but will Arsenal be able to get their man in Hossim Awad? He does seem to be the number one target. And um, Arsenal seem to be closing in now on getting that one done. And I think it would be a very welcome um, move at Arsenal. I, asked the, I was going to ask this question in a poll today. Uh, I was writing it down earlier. What's the most important position for Arsenal to fill at the moment. I, I kind of identified three positions, right? Left back, because remember, um, Kolasinac could very well leave, which then that leaves, a, you know, Saka can cover at left back, but you've got Tierney, gets a few injuries sometimes, as we know, been injured out of the game last week. If Kolasinac goes, do we need a left back? I know Ainsley can cover there, Saka can cover there, but do we need to bring in a left back? Then there's, of course, defensive midfielder. Do we need a defensive midfielder? Obviously, we're talking about Partey. We do have Xhaka there. It's Torreira still here. He looks like he's going to go. And then, of course, El Elneny's still here. But do we need a defensive midfielder? Or is it an attacking midfielder that we need? Those three positions seem to be the three positions that I feel Arsenal could do with players in. What do you guys reckon? Vote for it in the poll today on Flick, as the link is in the description um, download that and uh, let me know. Um, of course, on Torreira, still the rumours around um, Lucas Torreira. Negotiations continuing um, with Torreira and um, Atletico Madrid. Arsenal said to be not willing to let him go unless an option to buy is placed in the in the loan move because um, Atletico is still trying to get him on a loan for a season. Arsenal saying no chance unless at the end of that season you buy him. Um, that's the only way we'll talk to you on that. Again, Arsenal willing to sort of long this one out a bit. You know what I mean? See who else comes in. Will there be anybody else who will be interested in um, coming in to try and get his signature? So they don't seem to be uh, rushing this one at the moment. Of course, Torreira, you know, it hasn't... We, we, we know the stories. We've been sp speaking about it extensively. It hasn't really um, worked out for him um, at Arsenal since he's come. Lots of problems behind the scenes um, where he's not been settled at Arsenal and was looking to go back to Italy. But this chance now has come up for him to go play at Atletico. He'll be there with fellow Uruguayan um, Suarez. So he could, he you know, probably will move, but will it be there or will it be Italy? But Arsenal not willing to just let him go out on a flat loan. We know that Arsenal need money to raise funds and Torreira is one of the key players that they want to use to raise funds. Now, what about uh, Faller in Balogun? Um, he's been linked with a move away, the young player. We haven't actually even seen him play in the first team yet. It was uh, was hoping that maybe he could have been even on the bench the other day in that Carabao Cup game, but he wasn't. Uh, he's still only 19, really highly rated, one of the real Arsenal starlets um, at, around at the moment. Um, and we know that Sheffield United have been very, very interested in signing him. Um, although the money that they offered for him was rejected out of hand by Arsenal. I think um, Sheffield United were wanting to pay in about three, four million pounds. Arsenal are saying 15 million is what we want for um, Balogun. 19, moving into the last year of his deal. Hasn't signed a new deal yet. There have been rumours that he may sign a new deal. Interesting that he was training with the first team yesterday. So are they kind of trying to sort of sweet him up a bit to say, yo, stay, stay with us. Um, but Balogun um, still being linked with a move away. Again, Arsenal looking at it and saying, if he goes, big money is what we want for him. However, 
you know, <laughs> the thing is about it, if uh, if they don't cash in before the end of the transfer window and he goes into that last year of his contract and doesn't sign, he could walk away for next to nothing um, in January or walk away for free. It's very interesting on um, the transfer business at the moment because uh, it's unusual that the window finishes so late. We know because of the pandem pandemic, but the window closing um, in October and then opening again in January. It's going to be crazy um, this season. Um, but that is how it is running um, this year. It's a really different transfer window, really different time. So um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how that um, pans out. So those are the rumors today. Don't forget our Transfer Daily show on Flick, Transfer Daily Extra, only on Flick. So make sure you download the app if you want to keep up to date with all the transfers. We're going to be doing a watch along later on as well with Pippa to the uh, North London Derby, the ladies North London Derby. Um, we're going to be watching that. So make sure you tune in for that. And also we've got some great stuff coming up today. Great interview with Emil Heskey, ex-Liverpool uh, player, of course. Uh, me talking to Emil Heskey about the big game on Monday night, of course when Arsenal uh, go to Anfield uh, to take on Liverpool. <laughs> I was a bit confident. I don't know, man. I started to get a bit more fearful as the time gets nearer and nearer to that game. But looking forward to it. Massive game this weekend for Arsenal. Massive game for Mikel Arteta. And, um, you know, let's hope we can get those reinforcements in. But certainly it seems like uh, we are edging closer to getting a deal done for Hossim Awa. It's Robbie here from AFTV. Don't forget to check out AFTV on Flick for all the latest transfer rumours, for all the information on Arsenal, for all the information on AFTV. You can check me there for Q&As on a regular basis. The link is in the description. It is free to download. Download it right now.